So I'm making this video just in case anybody else is going through the same struggle that I've been going through ever since I started playing this game. And then I've been saving and slowly grinding for these chips so that I could make this video. And it probably has taken ever since I started playing the game to get to where I am. So the biggest struggle when it comes to just having a better rating is my equipment skill. It is a C. And today we're going to see what I can improve with two big improvements and how much that improves this equipment skill. A lot of the big whales who play this game, the pay to win players who spend a lot of money, they've got the gold enhanced chips. But for me, I've only gotten one chip. I got it part of like the VIP purchase bonus where you get a guaranteed chip fully maxed out, like leveled up, like, you know, how you got to combine them. So the only one that I actually have on my equipment, I'm pretty sure it's here, and it's the Mecha Attributes Max Armor. So it gives me plus 146 rating. So over the course of the last probably month, I've been specifically, I've been doing a mix of things. I've been selling certain skills that I'm not gonna be using, and I've been focusing on other skills, specifically some of the more cheaper skills, so that it's a little bit easier for me to just at least get this stat up a little bit it's it's been the hardest thing for me and i want to know if it's also been extremely hard for you guys so these that i have saved up has been a mix of me buying them on the marketplace for cheap gold but then also getting them randomly so let me hide my camera real quick and show you this is what i've got so far we actually need one more of these so we're going to the trading posts Twenty thousand gold it's, it's expensive, but this, the one that I'm doing right here, the one that we have right here, uh, is going to be going into upgrading the one that we have uh, already. So this is going to be the cheapest one that we have, and we're going to be upgrading it. So if we go down here, you can actually see we'll be upgrading it. So before everything, we're going to check. This is a very statistic video. We're at 146 equipment skill. So what does that go to? when we get this just upgraded so this is to upgrade this this is half of what it normally costs to craft something so let's upgrade 68 and upgraded it to level two the rating is 214 so what did that do for this down here so now we're at a 214 equipment skill didn't seem like it raised it that much now the next thing that we're going to be doing is is it one of these no it's a, okay so it's actually a weapon skill i'm pretty sure yeah the world of pain that's the one that we uh we've got and we're actually we got 30 of them and we're gonna be able to craft them so this is my first weapon and we're gonna assemble it plus 183 rating and again it costs 15 to upgrade this these are not anywhere as good as the the gold ones but in order to craft these one you need 30 of the same one and you can craft one and then i guess to upgrade it you need 15 for the legendaries you need 50 and not only are they harder to get not only are they more expensive to get they're really really more expensive so this one this one gives me skill strength bonus this one gives me max armor bonus they're not crazy they don't do anything crazy like the legendaries but let's see what they did for my rating and my skills so okay so our equipment skill is now 397. That brought it to a B from a C. It was like all the way down here. And actually, I'm sure if we maybe get another chip, like if we get one of these cheaper ones, which maybe what I would do is I would go on the trading post. So that one cost, let's see, this one's 13,000, this one's 10,000. Ultimate defense, it just attributes critical resistance. Like that one's not that good at all, but it would probably be the easiest one. What is this one? max hp see this one i might start buying just to get like an extra one because if we go to ultimate is it ultimate skill yeah if we go to ultimate skill like this look at 60 000, 65 000. but using a tactical skill increases your true critical hit by 10 percent for 15 seconds and it also gives you 130 skill but you need 50 of them to combine it's it costs a lot these are really really expensive to level up these are super expensive concentration hitting a weak point increases your base damage by 16 percent 
percent for three point five seconds, and the cooldown is every point five. Like that's that's insane. That's an insane stat boost. But it seems like this stuff is very very end game stuff for this game. Like if you've got some purples and you you're saving up the purples, like that would be great. Honestly, what I might do. How much gold do I have right now? Because I, I might start like trying to like getting one more. We've got 171,000 gold. If we go to the trade, go down to... And you know, these chip components and stuff, these actually, you'll be able to get them max HP. Like that's okay. So I'm going to buy seven of them for 92,000. And I need to get 30 in total to craft. But this is just a good starting point. And again, I'm selling any of the golds that I get. And you know... I'll randomly get uh, golds and stuff or, or even purples in the spins here or in events. It's a lot rarer, but you have a chance of getting them as well as I have gotten them from um, here as well. You could get them from these crates and stuff. So I've been getting them randomly. I've been selling specific ones, but I think this next one is the next one that I'm going to craft because then what I can do here is if you go into the equipment go down here I could then just put it on here and put it right there and it, it probably will get my my skill rating up to a good decent level maybe to an A two things that I need to level up the equipment skill and my drone and then also the gene stuff like those are like my worst things right now so it's things that I've been focusing on but like it's crazy it took me well over a month to just get the things for this video it, it, it improved my rating just a little bit and it's not going to go crazy compared to if we go to the leaderboards and we check out the top players if they're not hiding their their name which by the way I know who this is I don't know why they hide their stats they don't want to share their, it's just it's really bizarre yo this guy has no camp hey yo Skogent I don't even remember how I added you but if you want to join the camp that I'm in with Rolex and all these people you're more than welcome to because you're the second best person on the leaderboards. But we could actually use him as an example. So he's got all gold. He's a 44,000 rating compared to me, which I'm like 35,000. If we go to his equipment skill, mine is 397. And that took me ever since I started the game. His is 1,355. I'm assuming... Where is his skills at? So he has... Where does he have his skills? I'm guessing he has... So he has Fearless Vanguard level 3. So it's purple. That's not bad. He has World of Pain level 3. So actually... Oh, but this this is, this is huge. Wartime Healing level 2. When you take damage, you regain 7.7% armor for 5 seconds. Cooldown 25 seconds and max armor. Wow. Does he have anything else? I think so he's got a gold and then he also has two purples that are at level three that might be the cheapest way to actually level some stuff up is to get the purples let's check out some other people he has a gold this one's insane look at this plus 767 when a critical hit is landed they are bleeding damage equal to 195 percent skill strength plus 130 percent level growth bonus like these are just insane stat bonus it's just crazy and if we go to his stats, his equipment skill is almost 2,000. That's crazy, man. So that's definitely showing the difference between me and these other players. I think my plan from the looks of it, like the cheapest and the best way, but you guys got to let me know in the comments, the cheapest and best ways for me is... So to get it to level 3, I basically need to get another duplicate. But it's probably not worth doing that because... It would be better to get resources to getting like this one, the, the the one that I'm going after here. That would be nicer and easier to get. And then down here, I would probably level this up once because it's 15. So if I go to the training post, how much does this cost? 14,000, yeah, I'll probably wait on that. But um, getting 15 of those, leveling it up, that'll help me. And then getting a, you know, I'm just trying my best in the cheapest way. As someone who spends money on this game, I spend money on a mix of, using it to progress but also i use a lot of the money that i spend in this game for videos it's purely for videos so 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed discussion videos like this. It's really cool because I get to talk about stats and stuff in the game and then I get to hear the feedback from you guys because you guys have the best suggestions. So anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.